Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Book of Crochet. I'm Sandy. Before I start this video, please take a second to click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. Hi again. I wanted to show you a couple of my projects that I had from a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean about a year ago. And it would I was new to crochet, just learned, and I was getting a little carried away with it. I was learning new stitches. I was learning how to do back posts and front posts, and I didn't like it. But I noticed that it gave my work some texture. And so I have this pattern, uh, this square. It's from the crochet crowd. It's from the crochet crowd. It's called Stop, Stitch, and Roll. And Mikey does it in multi-colors. So he's changing colors every round. But at that time, I didn't want I didn't know how to change colors like I do now. So I just use a Karen Big Cake in I think the color pistachio or something. But this is what it looks like. Uh he made, obviously, he made a whole afghan with these using different shapes for the edging. Um, but I just wanted to conquer one square of this. So, and I did. And I could see, you know, I think today I can do a much better job than this. But back then, last year, I was really excited to get that done. Another thing I wanted to show you something else from the crochet crowd. This is called the Water Fountain Square from the Flora Afghan series last year that Mikey did. In another video, I showed you the Chrysanthemum Square. That one I did early, early in 2020. But this one I did last year. And oh boy, what a difference. I could see all my all my uh, my tension issues and everything. And look, I still didn't weave in my ends. And this is from a year ago. Do you have projects that are a year old or more that you need to weave in the ends? Because I feel like, mm, am I the only one? Anyway, so yesterday's video, I showed you a square that I was working on with reading a pattern. So I didn't have a picture of what it was going to look like. I just had the pattern on a piece of paper. And so this is the finished product. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. It kind of looks distorted to me, but I don't know if it's supposed to look that way on purpose. You see this, this right here. I don't know if it's supposed to be so oval right here. They're round. So I don't know. Maybe they are. I don't know. I don't know. But then I look at, at it here and it looks, I'm just not, I don't know. It's a learning experience. I didn't have a picture, wasn't following a video. But so that's finished. I still wasn't able to find the pattern. I looked and looked and I couldn't find anything. Sorry. So here we are, the end of April. Yesterday, it began such a nice, sunshiny, warm day. I took a walk. By the end of the day, it was so dark and cold and rainy. I woke up, it was raining. Throughout the day, it was dreary. So it makes you appreciate the sunshiny days, it makes you wanna go out and take a walk take advantage of the nice weather. So I'm glad I did that yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to take a walk sometime in the daytime. We'll see. If not, I'm going to have to walk inside my building back and forth down the hallway. My neighbor's going to think I'm crazy. They're, they're all going to come out going, is this lady going back and forth through the hallway? That's me trying to get some exercise because if it rains or if it's really windy, I live in Chicago and that wind, oh, that wind when it starts blowing, 
oh, it takes your breath away. But so enjoy the sunny days. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that as of today, I, I realized I have a family member that is sick with this virus. And family member, if you're out there watching, I'm thinking of you. Stay strong and get well soon, okay? But I just want to say, it got real when it affected one of my family members. It got real. Any of you out there know somebody with the virus or somebody who even, somebody who knows somebody with it? Because until you do, it's like it's happening to strangers. But I'm telling you, this is some scary times we live in. So that's why I have to make sure that I'm walking, I'm exercising, I'm drinking my water, I'm eating well, because you have to keep healthy, not only physically, but up here. And you know what helps me with that is this right here, this yarn and this hook right here. It's my saving grace. I'm telling you, if any of you out there are interested in learning how to crochet, now is the time to learn because it like turned my life around when I learned how to crochet. Things got better up here. I started even remembering things and I was able to focus more on other things in my life. So. But one thing, one thing I just can't keep straight the days, the days. I worked from home anyway before this virus. I worked from home, but it just keeps, I, I don't know if it's Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I have to look at the time. Some days I'm waking up. It's already 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Oh, I used to get a thousand things done by 11 a.m. That, I mean, not every day I'm waking up at 11 a.m., but that's just not like me. And the other day I went to bed at, at 1 a.m. Can you believe that? I I don't know what's, it's just messing with my time, but it's the yarn that helps me get through it. So, if you're out there and you're just watching just to pass the time and you're thinking about learning how to crochet, there's plenty of videos out there to help you learn. If, if it's not crochet, maybe it's knitting, maybe it's macrame, maybe it's even those beads, you know, puzzles are big. They're a hot commodity now. So yeah, take advantage of what everything in life has to offer you. Take care, everybody, and stay safe. Bye.